Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to understand one very important types of network that is wide area network, WAN network. Sometimes interviewer is also asking this question in interview. Like they can ask you to explain WAN network. What is WAN network? Right. So today we will understand the wide area network with one real time example. This, if I will talk about the definition of WAN, definition of wide area network. So definition can be, see what is network? Network means connecting multiple networking devices together is known as network, right? Like connecting two computers together, right? So that they can communicate with each other, so that they can share data with each other. That is network or connecting more than two devices together so that they can communicate with each other is known as network like connecting 10 number of pcs uh, through one switch through one centralized switch is known as what network and which type of network it is it is lan local area network so we have different types of network like lan man wan can right can means campus area network lan means local area network wan means wide area network man means metropolitan area network but you know if I will talk about the types of network according to the topology, so guys, we have only two types of network, right? We have only two types of network. First one is LAN, local area network, and second one is WAN, wide area network. Rest all types of networks are human defined, right? We have defined those types of network like CAN, campus area network. Campus is a type of LAN, right? And we have define this type of network man we have defined this network man is a kind of WAN network right type of WAN network wide area network and we have defined it okay so generally we we can say we have only two types of network first one is LAN local area network and second one is WAN that is wide area network rest all networks are human defined like can man so what do you mean by LAN LAN means connecting multiple devices together so that they can communicate with each other in a, a small geographical area, right? So let's suppose you need to connect 100 number of PCs and 10 number of servers together, right? So you can implement this network in a building, right? Or on a floor. So this type of network is LAN, local area network, right? We cannot say how many users can be there in the LAN or how many user can be there in the WAN. Always keep in mind, we divide network on the basis of area, on the basis of domain. If you we are implementing network in a, a small geographical area, so that network will be known as by LAN, local area network. And if we are uh, implementing network in a large geographical area, that will be known as by WAN, wide area network. So simple definition of WAN can be connecting multiple networking devices in large geographical area is known as WAN. Now why we need WAN? Just suppose how you are going to connect multiple branch offices together. Let's uh, take one example of a company. A company let's say Coca-Cola, right? So guys Coca-Cola is a company who has factory who has offices, branch offices, who has distribution centers, right? Bra many centers are there, right? Around the globe, right? Centers are there in India, in the Germany, in the America, in the Australia, right? All around the globe, Coca-Cola have their branch offices, right? Their offices, you can say, right? Their data center, their factory, their uh, distribution centers, and they all need to communicate with each other, right? Why they all need to communicate with each other? Let's suppose Coca-Cola has a headquarter in the India, right? And the employee in the headquarter want to know the status of product in the, let's say, factory, which is in Germany, right? In the Germany, there is one factory of Coca-Cola. And from the headquarter, from the India location, uh, the employee want to know or manager want to know the status of product, like how many products are available there, right? So they need to be connect connected with each other, right? India branch and the Germany factory, right? 
branch network should be connected with each other in the same way let's suppose let let uh, let's take one example of other company like google you know google have lots of data center around the world right and this is it at each data center there are million of devices million of servers routers switches right and they all need to communicate with each other so that we can access the resources let me give one another example of a small company right who have let's suppose three to four branch offices well, let's suppose pm networking is a company right and uh, this company is providing training correct so pm networking has main branch office in the india and two to three more branch offices in the different country or in the different cities right and there is uh, the main server of PM networking is in headquarter in the India, right? And there is one branch office in US, let's suppose, correct? So whatever trainer are there in the US branch office, they are going to teach people, right? And they are going to record videos. They are going to take live classes on the server, which is located in India, right? In the headquarter. So if the trainer from US is going to teach people on this server, right are going to store resources on this server right are going to access resources which is available on this server so they need to be connected with each other the headquarter and branch office which is in india should be connected with each other so this type of network like connecting multiple branch offices together is known as wan wide area network now guys let me give you one example here on the board let's suppose you are implementing a network in a building right this is one building in india and this is my let's say headquarter headquarter fine in the headquarter i have some floors at each floors i have some switches and with the help of switches lots of end devices are connected like servers like pcs right iot devices ip phones these devices are connected through the access switches and now we need to connect these all access switches together so that these devices can communicate with each other this server can communicate with each other so let's suppose here i have one another switch that is let's say distribution here switch correct and now these all devices can communicate with each other and this is my headquarter which type of network it is see i have implemented what network in a small geographical area implementing network in a building means implementing network in a small geographical area so this network will be known as lan local area network and guys now suppose i am planning to open a new branch in the different city let's say this is in delhi delhi and in the mumbai i am going to open a new branch office right which is let's suppose 500 kilometer far from the headquarter from the De delhi right so here also i am going to implement what lan local area network now how these two branch offices will communicate with each other definitely i have to connect them together right so connecting this network and this network is known as wan wide area network or in other words what you can say see connecting these two companies network together is complicated directly right directly i cannot place the cable between delhi to mumbai it will be very costly very complicated even government will not allow me to place cable between delhi to uh, mumbai right so how we are going to connect it so for that lots of service providers are available in the market right so service provider have already connection between delhi to mumbai this is Mumbai service provider have already connectivity between Delhi to Mumbai service provider like your Airtel, Airtel your Tata, right? And many more service provider are there in the market who have already cable between Delhi and Mumbai. Mumbai right and they have good bandwidth between uh, you know these two points good bandwidth fine now if I want connectivity between my Delhi branch and Mumbai branch what I can do I can purchase some bandwidth from the Airtel see Airtel have already lots of bandwidth between in Delhi to Mumbai I can purchase some bandwidth from the available bandwidth let's say available bandwidth is just for example i'm taking total bandwidth is 1 gbps 1 gbps so i can purchase 100 mbps bandwidth 
from the airtel bro give me 100 mbps link between delhi to mumbai for that i will pay you every month right so this time what i am doing i am taking connectivity i am purchasing connectivity between two points from any service provider right so whenever we are purchasing connectivity from the service provider or whenever we are using service provider to connect two or more networks together that type of network will be known as when wide area network so see this is my land local area network this is also my land local area network and now to connect these two land together i am going to use airtel service provider so this type of network will be known as why wan and the fact that you connect different network together we need what guys router right so here i can place one router at my uh branch at both branch i am going to place one router and then with the help of router i can connect these two companies this network will be known as by wan now if you are thinking that perform this network is not reliable what if this link will goes down or if this isp will go down so definitely bro you have to purchase the another connectivity as well right for the backup let's suppose from the tata also i am going to purchase connectivity right here i have 100 mbps bandwidth and from from the tata i am going to purchase let's say 10 mbps bandwidth 10 mbps correct like this now i have two link between delhi to mumbai correct and here bandwidth is 10 mbps here bandwidth is 100 mbps so now i can configure this router to forward all traffic towards airtel if airtel is up correct but if airtel is down then automatically my router will start forwarding traffic toward this backup link right so this is actually my backup link backup link and this is my primary link right like this now coca cola coca cola have lots of branch offices google have lots of branch offices around the world and they need to connect all branch offices together so they are also going to use service provider and guys this is airtel is service provider in india for city to city like to connect city to city which type of service provider it is it is actually internet service provider isp internet service provider see if i will talk about the transportation like this type of network which type of service providers are available in the market so we you you have option of leased land right you can purchase the leased land connection you can purchase the mpls connection right you can purchase 4g 5g connection right like lte more services are there so coca cola have let's say one branch or google have one branch uh, in mumbai one branch in delhi one branch in uh, bangalore one branch in ahmedabad then in different country in us also they have lots of branch offices and in each country there are service provider who is going to provide me connectivity correct and then between country again we have service provider who will provide me the bandwidth we will provide me the connectivity let's suppose here i am using internet or for the backup i have mpls also like internet is not much reliable now it is internet is reliable right but earlier internet was not much reliable right so we were using mpls earlier and now between company i can have mpls here and i can connect these two these two uh, countries together like this and in the same way i can connect all world right branches around the world together and this type of network are known as guys when wide area network so this was a, a small video to teach you wide area network what is wide area network so see connecting network between city is known as man this type of network is man right by the way as i told you whenever we are purchasing connectivity from the service provider that type of network will be known as by WAN so MAN is also one type of WAN only and LAN means implementing network inside a building inside a, in a, a small geographical area WAN means connecting uh, devices in the large geographical area so network means connecting multiple networking devices together so that they can communicate with each other they can share the resources right uh, they can access the resources 
and connecting multiple networking devices in a small geographical area is known as LAN, local area network. Connecting multiple networking devices in a campus, like you can say connecting multiple buildings together in a campus. You can take an example of a university, right? In a university, there are, let's suppose, four buildings, right? Engineering, MBA, right? And multiple departments are there. And in each building, we have LAN, local area network. And now we are going to connect all buildings together. So that type of network is known as CAN, campus area network. So connecting multiple networking devices in a campus is known as CAN, campus area network. And connecting multiple networking devices in a city is known as MAN, metropolitan area network. And connecting multiple networking devices in a large geographical area with the help of service provider is known as WAN, wide area network. So guys, today we have understood what is wide area network. If you have learned something from this video, please hit on like button. If you are new on the channel, if you are not subscribed this channel, please subscribe this channel. We will meet soon in next video. Till then, stay safe. Bye bye. That's all for today, guys. And if you have any question, any concern, please let me know in the comment section. If you want video on any other topic, no problem at all. You can let me know the topic in the comment section. If you have any interview question, then also you can share your interview question in the comment section. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. That's all for today. We'll meet soon in next video. Till then, stay safe. Bye bye.